Hello, good morning Year 6. Um, I hope that you are all well and keeping safe. My name's Miss Smith and I lead on transition here at Bishop Vaughan. Um, I will have met loads of you on a new number of the different transition activities that have taken place. But if I haven't met you yet, hello. So, normally this time of the year we would be holding our transition days where you would come up to us at Bishop Vaughan and start preparing to join us in the September. But unfortunately, we are unable to get together at the moment, so we're going to have to try something just a little bit different. This is all new to all of us, but hopefully we'll go some way to helping you with any worries that you might have. You should have by now received the transition work booklet. Um, this would normally have been completed during the transition days, but this year we're going to complete it together using this presentation to support you. There is also a little video that will show you around the school for those of you that aren't used to it or haven't been here before. And that will give you a chance to meet some of the teachers, some of the tutors and some of the heads that you're head of year for September. You can also use Flipgrid and um, the code is in the workbooker to access that. And there you can post videos introducing yourself to your teachers or any questions that you have at the end of this presentation. So now it's all over to you. We're going to go to the work booklets and the first bit is all about you. So once you've completed this worksheet, which tells us things like your favourite subject, your favourite books, hobbies and so on, you can then use that information to maybe put together a really short, say 30 seconds video clip that you can put onto Flipgrid to introduce yourself to your tutors um, and other teachers that you might have in September. Don't be shy, tell us all about yourself. So at Bishop Vaughan, we like to celebrate our God-given gifts and talents. We do this in a number of ways. We have presentation evenings, we have reward assemblies, um, and lots of other things as well, letters home to parents, and so on. So now, I want you to tell us what you're good at, and then maybe think about how you might improve on these things when you're with us at Bishop Vaughan. Okay, hands up if you've got a lot of questions already. Now I want you to make a list of your top five questions. Um, if we don't answer them as we go through this presentation, you will get a chance to ask them. You can either send them to us by email or you can upload them to the Flipgrid, which we've talked a lot about already. One of the biggest changes for all of you when you join Bishop Vaughan will be just the sheer size of the school. It's going to be much, much bigger than what you're used to. But please, please don't worry about that. You'll soon find your way around. So normally, if we were on our transition days, your tutors would now take you and show you around the school, pointing out all the bits that you really do need to know where they are. But this year we've had to do something different and we've put together a short video that will hopefully be the next best thing. If you haven't watched that video yet, you can either stop this presentation now, go and watch it or come back to it later on. It will be there for you. During the first few weeks of school, please don't worry about getting lost. There'll be lots of staff around to help and also lots of other students that will take you to where you need to be. Hands up if one of your questions was about the timetable. So in front of you is an example of a timetable that you could be given when you start at Bishop Vaughan. It looks really scary, doesn't it? But don't worry about that because we're going to go through it together now. So at Bishop Vaughan, you will study lots and lots of different subjects. You'll have lots of different teachers and in lots of different rooms. But I guarantee within the first couple of weeks, you'll soon get used to it. So we have a two week timetable. So we've got week one and week two. You'll have five lessons throughout the day, each lesson lasting for an hour. So on these timetables here, you can see the subject, which I'll highlight there for you. And then you've got the two numbers or combination of letters and numbers underneath. The number on the left is your teacher number and this corresponds then below so we can see that number 18 there is Mr Spencer and then the number and letter to the right is the room in which the lesson takes place. 
So on part of the tour of the school, you would have seen some of these rooms. But like I've already said, don't worry if you don't know where they are. We will show you that when you're with us. Another big difference about secondary school is that you need to get yourself organised now. Because you're moving around the school, you're going to have to carry everything that you need for that day with you. So each day, you look up your timetable to make sure you've packed everything that you need. So we're going to complete an activity now. So there's two days listed in your transition book. There's an example of one on the screen here as well. I want you to list underneath those days what you think you'd need to pack in your bag the night before so that you're fully prepared for the day ahead. So it's back to thinking about yourself now. OK, so lots of learning will take place every day, every hour and every minute that you're at Bishop Vaughan. But I want you to think, what do you think will be different about the way you learn at Bishop Vaughan? We've talked about some of those differences already. But it's time for you to put them down onto paper. What would you like to improve when you're at Bishop Vaughan? And which new subjects do you think you would like to find out more about? At Bishop Vaughan, we pride ourselves on having a very smart uniform. Some parts of this uniform are compulsory, which means that you have to have them and you have to be wearing them. Then there are some other items that are non-compulsory, which means that that's up to you. Read through the uniform information sheet in your booklet and then I want you to list the items that you must wear and the items that you're not allowed to wear. We're nearly at the end then of our work booklet. Um, so now I'm going to ask you to go through the checklist, tick off anything that you now know or you remember and make a note of any questions that you have because these can be then posted on Flipgrid or emailed to us so that we can answer them for you. So we are now at the end of this workbook, Lydia Year 6, and thank you for taking part in all that I've asked you to do. I'm now going to ask that you write a letter to your teachers. It's your chance to tell them everything about you, so and then we can share that with them so that they know you a little bit before meeting you. Use the boxes in the workbook to help you plan that letter. And once you've then written it out, it's up to you what you do with it. You could keep it and bring it with you on the first day of school. You could post it to us at Bishop Vaughan. You can email it to us. You can put it up on Flipgrid, whatever is easiest for you. But good luck with this. Um, take your time over it. Make sure you've included everything that you would like your teachers to know about you. We really do look forward to meeting you all in September, but before then, if you've got any questions, please, please do not be afraid to ask them. As I've already said, you can email them in to us, you can add them to the Flipgrid. Don't forget that code is at the beginning of your booklet. But anything that you are nervous or anxious about, please ask away. Take care and we'll see you soon.